Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be filming Ellie's room tour and this is all going to be changed in a few weeks time so I thought before we change it all some people would like to see how it is now and how we store all her toys etc so yeah I'll show you a few things that we're going to change and I hope you enjoy the video. So as you walk in there is a little vanity table, this is from very.com and it's just like a plastic little vanity table also comes with a little stool under there and um, but Ellie absolutely loves this because when I do my makeup she can sit at hers and pretend to do hers she's just got a little few things on there like her nail varnishes and um, some kind of like make-believe stuff um, her little sunglasses and yeah it's just the cutest thing ever and then on top of that we have her flower girl dress and she sometimes wears this for like dressing up um, because I thought I don't want it stuck in the wardrobe and I just love it so much. So yeah that's there and then behind it we have her bow hanger. This is from the bow boutique and there is just some random bows on there if you can see and a little sign that we've had since she was a baby and then this is her kind of tower unit thing we've had this since forever since she was a newborn um the lamp is from ikea and we've just got some little ornaments this is a little penguin night light um a little money box there monitor and the little princess photo frame so yeah that's her little kind of display there um, and then in here, I'm not going to go into detail, but this is where we keep all of her toiletries. So like all her hair stuff, we've got like a spare toothbrush there, all her creams, powder, all that stuff. Um, and nappies, wipes, everything like that is in this tower. Then in front of that, we have her like little musical corner. Um, she got these two things from christmas and she absolutely loves them she plays with them every single day so there's just a little microphone with a stand and a piano with a stool as well um we did have this in the living room but the living room's just getting a bit crammed with toys so i thought i'm just going to stick it in here um this is her bed so this is what is going to be changed she's got a new bed on its way from amazon and it's a proper toddler bed whereas this is a cot with the rail off so it's like a cot bed and um, so yeah she's not going to have the cot anymore she's going to have a big girl bed and it's really cute it's like a princess bed so that will be coming soon i will do an updated um room tour when everything's done but i thought i'd show you kind of what it looks like now um i got this cot from Babes Are Us, it was the sleigh one, um, it has a drawer underneath and that's just full of bedding and blankets um, and I really love it, it's done kind of really well for the last three years um, so yeah, um, we've just got a bunch of soft toys and pillows this cushion is from Tesco's, it's just got Cinderella on it um, there's a little kitten one there that's from Primark and the cat one is from Izzy Whatnot with the matching cat. Um, and then we have some fairy lights, which you probably can't see because it's daylight. Um, so we've just got some fairy lights wrapped and you can't pull them because they're really tightly on there. Um, and some just Disney little teddies. This bedding is from Asda and it's just my absolute favourite. I love it to death. Um, and then up here, these little ballerina plaques are from next my mom got them and uh, this is the kind of theme we're going for kind of princess ballerina theme um which will be coming up in a few weeks and then her above her bed is a canvas with her name on it i've had this since she was a newborn as well okay so we just have a pink rug as well it's really lovely and soft that's from darnelm if anyone's interested and then on her door is her dressing up dresses so another thing that's going to change is we are currently on the lookout for a dressing up rail so i can put all of these dresses onto a rail um, because i hate them on the door they get knocked off and yeah it's the only place i can put them instead of like screw them up into a box 
so yeah she's just got a bunch here she's actually got some more which are in the wash but she's just got like cinderella tinkerbell a spider-man one anna snow white and she has a Belle and elsa one as well um, so that's all her dresses and then on the back we just have her dressing gown um, here I pull these out if she wants to play with them um, but that's just a little wooden tea set this is a Disney Little People Klimp Klomp set um, she really likes this as well so that is just there and I pull it out if she wants to use it um, I still have got her rocking horse she's outgrown this but um, she's had this since her first birthday and I just can't bear to get rid of it so um, I might put it into storage because we do need the room but at the moment it is there and this is just like a little storage cupboard um, on the wall we have this beautiful the top one is from I Heart Homes I think I'll leave a link down below and then there's just a picture of Ellie from her seventh seventh month photo shoot I think um, so yeah I love them there her light, I think this is from Home Base, but it's kind of like a goldy, silvery light shade. Um, so yeah, her rocking horse is still there. Um, this is her little Minnie Mouse suitcase, which she takes everywhere when we go. Um, this She got this for Christmas from her nanny. It's a Baby Annabelle cradle, and this is not Baby Annabelle. This is another doll she got, but she likes to put all her dollies in there and it does come with a pillow and blanket i'm not quite sure what that is um but yeah she loves that her bookcase is from ikea and this is just a little tea set i absolutely love this um it's just so cute and then at the back is all her baby books and there's just like little ornaments this is her jewelry box got this from america and um, we've just got some jewellery in there and her shoes from her Barbies because for some reason she doesn't like the shoes on them so I like to keep them in here um, but the, I love this little jewellery box we've just got some more ornaments and this little box if I can get the lid off it's got all of her hair accessories so all her hair bands and hair clips are in there which is really handy on the top of the bookcase we just have her ornaments and a little frame we have this led heart which the battery pack really annoys me but i can't really hide it anywhere so yeah but it's really nice and cozy when it's lit up in the side here we have she got this for christmas so she's obsessed with it at the moment so i just keep it out but it's one of them um hair styler things and all her hair stuff is in there for the doll so she can just grab this if she wants to play with it but at the moment it stays in there and um, this is the ikea unit i get asked nearly every day where this unit is from and i'm obsessed with it it is like life changing it is the kallax i think that's how you pronounce it from ikea um, and you can put as many storage cubes or storage boxes as you want um, so yeah it's just really really come in handy with all the toys that she's received um, so yeah on top of it I like it as well because you can display stuff on top so on top we have this photo frame really adorable and then we have this um, rag doll from Cat Kitson that she got for Christmas this storage box with her mostly jelly cat teddies in there but we have a few like piglet and stuff these ikea pots which are actually plant pots and um, we had them from the wedding to put our photo booth props in but instead i use them for all her crayons all her coloring pencils felt tips scissors all stuff like that and it really does it makes it look more neat um so yeah that's where all of them go and believe me she had more than this and i had to chuck them all away because she had too many um, and then we just have this dream sign that she's had forever um, and then we have this Elsa statue which I got in America it's really nice and this star lit up star thing that lights up at night but you can't really see it um, so yeah I absolutely love this unit I'm not sure what measurements it is but I will leave a link down below so the first 
section. So all here I used it as kind of displaying stuff. Um, it probably looks a bit cluttery to you, but Ellie really likes seeing her toys. So yeah, the first section is all her kind of princess dolls. She is obsessed with these dolls. Um, I have to get a few more for her because I promised I would get them all. Um, so yeah, these are all her princess dolls. There's like loads. <laughs> And then at the back is all her Peppa Pig stuffed toys. In this unit, we've gone for like the pink and white theme. This unit here is all her soft toys. This girl is obsessed with teddies and soft toys. So we've got quite a lot. These are like filled up to the brim. Um, so I had to put some in these boxes. And again, with this one, it's packed with teddies and stuff. So, yep. Um, in here is her Barbie stuff, so we've got her horse and carriage and another one of them hair styler things, she's got two now. This section is all her hard books and her new DVDs that she got for Christmas. She has got quite a few Disney DVDs, um, so I need to dig them out and put them together, but these are her like new ones that she received. And then in here is just a bunch of like random toys, so like really random Playmobil stuff, teapot, all stuff like that and I love how I can just take one out whatever she wants if she wants to play with um, books she just goes to the book section and etc. Again we have more books we love books in this house and again a lot of them these are kind of like paperback ones um, and then more hard back ones in here is all her dressing up stuff so as well as all her dressing up dresses these are all just like accessories so we've got fairy wings we've got all her bags her spider girl mask um a lot of the mini mouse ears because i had so many of them i thought because i'm not going to use them throughout the year i might as well give them to ellie to let her dress up and stuff and she absolutely loves them so yeah then we've got like you know the usual dressing up shoes stuff like that so that is her dressing up box and again I can just take that out if she needs it um so this is all like the floor space she's got so she's got quite a lot of floor space still to play on even though there's quite a lot in her room um beside her cot we have her frozen scooter and her beauty and the beast musical cart she absolutely loves this um, and then this corner, I've tried to make this the reading and arts and crafts corner. Um, it's really hard to kind of fit everything in because she's got so much stuff. So this is all going to be changed as well, especially this part here, which I'm going to show you. Um, so I'm going to start here on the wall. We've got this print. It's, it says, be a princess, have a tea party, ride a unicorn, believe in fairy tales, wish upon a star sing and dance, sprinkle fairy dust, save the kingdom and I just love that, it's so princessy um, and if anyone's wondering, the colour on the wall is pretty pink I think um, I'll leave a link down below as well and then she's got this little photo frame of me and my cousin and Ellie look how little she was um, we have this little sign saying happier than a unicorn on a rainbow that is from Primark and this which a follower made for me and I just absolutely love it. It's an E made out of crayons. So I love that and it fits in with a kind of arts and crafts section. Um, so this is the bookcase. I will leave a link down below where this is from. But I have put all her kind of more Disney books on here. So we just got a bunch like Toy Story, Nemo, all stuff like that. And behind that is her pillow pets which is a unicorn, so sometimes she likes to take that out and sit on the floor. We have her Fisher-Price chair that makes noises. Um, and then this is the corner which I need to kind of work on. I've tried my best, but it's just getting out of control. So this is just a present from Christmas that she's received. Um, she's got her Mega Blocks, which she still plays with. She's quite happily plays with them. Um, again, these... A lot of these things are like Christmas presents, so she's got a calf kits and bag, so that needs to go in a dressing up box. Um, and she's got an apron, which I don't know where to put. Um, these two boxes hold everything to do with crafts, so whether it's puzzles, 
colouring books. Um, so we've got a bunch of like colouring books here, um, magazines, paints, glue, all that kind of stuff. And the same with here. So we've got like colouring pencils, play doh, loads of play doh sets, um, puzzles. Yeah, it just goes on and on. So I need to figure out. Oops. I need to figure out how to store this a bit better because it does look quite messy. This is kinetic sand, which she absolutely loves. Um, so yeah, that is kind of work in progress, but for now that's how it looks. And yeah, I'm sure that is everything. Tilly likes to look out the window, as you can see. But yeah, that is her room at the moment and how it looks it does look quite cluttery because there's so much stuff but um i can't really help it with like it's quite a decent size to be honest so i've done my best to not make it look so cluttery so i thought i would do an added kind of more toy storage because i get asked so much how do you store eddie's toys and a lot of questions about these units which i thought i would do so this is how I store Ellie's toys in the living room. I've showed you her bedroom and some of her toys are in the living room as well. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you it. So again, we have another one of these IKEA units, which is the exact same in her bedroom. But instead we have kind of white and beigey storage cubes to go with the living room. And I just love it because I can store stuff on top. So... I've got a few kind of wedding stuff on here um, from like the wedding. I've got our like photo albums. This is always crooked, it drives me mad. There we go. So yeah, it still kind of looks like a living room, but it has toy storage, so it's brilliant. Um, so yeah, this is what the wall looks like. So again, I could get extra boxes and I probably will eventually but for now Ellie really loves seeing what she's got on display so the first section is all her Peppa Pig stuff so she's got a little collection of um, Peppa Pig figures and she plays with this all the time this cube in here is random toys like really random stuff in there but it just I love how you can just put it away and no one sees it in here this is um, like a wooden crate that we had left over from the wedding and I thought I'd put all her Disney figures in here so she doesn't lose them and again she can just pull this out and play with them. She likes to play with them up here and kind of like have fun but yeah she's got all her Disney figurines from the Disney store in here and these are really beautiful like how beautiful are these. So yeah, she's got a bunch in there. Jasmine. So they just go back in there. Sorry, my floors are so creaky. Can you hear them? This section is her Minnie Mouse stuff. So she's just got a little Minnie Mouse handbag at the back. Her washing machine and little iron. And I forgot to show you what's in this one. This one is all her food stuff. Um, her kitchen is over there, so she just kind of brings this over if she wants to play with it. But um, I got loads of these. They were really cheap, and they're cheap because you have to do them yourself. And they're really easy to assemble, but kind of need time to do it. So I still have to assemble these, and when you assemble them, they look like um, that, which is really cute. But I haven't had a chance to. So yeah, in here is just a bunch of her kind of kitchen stuff, all her plastic stuff. Um, yeah, just a bunch of it, but I really need to put these together. So that's her kitchen stuff. <clears throat> this one here is full of random stuff again. Got her doctor's kit at the bottom, some puzzle boards. Um, she really likes cars. There's quite a lot of cars, so yeah, it's just random stuff. This one is her picnic basket shopping basket and her teal at the back which is there and in here is all her babies and dolls so these she's obsessed with these disney toddler doll things so she's got quite a few of them um as you can see there's quite a lot in here 
um, and then at the bottom is all her actual dolls so yeah that is where she goes and she knows where everything is whereas before everything was in like it was just everywhere she's got her buggy which she got for christmas and baby annabelle's in there this is her kitchen i don't think i've spoke about a kitchen we got this on um, a facebook page and it was hardly used so it's in perfect condition and ellie absolutely loves this so that's her little kitchen in the corner and her little personalized chair and then moving on to this corner so this is her last toy corner um, this is where like her main stuff is so we've got her doll's house that's really annoying <laughs> we've got her doll's house her barbie kind of castle house and then her baby changing unit and i bring this out to like the middle of the living room if she wants to play with it um, but this is where like she feeds and changes her babies um, and then in here is all her baby stuff so like her changing mat it's not focusing all her changing mat her nappy bags all stuff like that is in here so yeah that is how i store ellie's toys i hope you found this helpful if you are struggling after christmas on how to store toys because i really did but these units are an absolute lifesaver so i would highly recommend them i'm not sponsored by ikea at all i just absolutely love them so yeah speak to you soon bye